How do you greet somebody in French? Well, if you only said bonjour, then you do not have the full story. You see, bonjour and bonsoir actually come across as pretty formal. Bonjour. Maxence, bonsoir. bonsoir. If you want to greet your friends, you're better off with something like a coucou. Coucou. Coucou comes across as informal and kind of cute. You can think of it as like a hi there or a hi ya. Coucou. Coucou, ti chéri. And another option is the tried and true salut, which means hi. Salut, je m'appelle Frankenstein. And these are just a few words that you will see all the time in French TV shows. Now you'll often say coucou to people that you're close to, like your friends. And we often learn that friend in French is ami or copain. But that isn't the full story either. You see, in real life, people will often say the word pot. Et, uh, et ben j'ai des potes en or. Pot is slang for friends, so feel free to use it in informal situations to sound more like a native. Ça va aller, mon pote! When you're joking around with your pots, you might have to say, are you kidding? In this case, that would be tu rigoles. <laughs> tu rigoles? Ça n'existe pas. Tu rigoles? Rigoler can also just mean to laugh. Like if I wanted to ask you, why are you laughing? I might say, <laughs> pourquoi tu rigoles? Now, this is a very important one that not many French learners know. You see, we oui is not the only way to say yes in French. Listen carefully. Puis là. Uh, si, si. Oh. Here he says si. Si doesn't really exist in English. The closest translation would be a yes, actually. For instance, you might say it in reaction to a negative statement or a false statement to say, yes, actually, that is true, or Yes, actually, I did do that. <laughs> For example, let's say that your friends show up to your party two hours late and they come asking, we're not too late, are we? You might respond, bah si, la fête est presque finie, là. Now, si is a pretty nuanced word, so one of the only ways to understand it is to see it in lots of different contexts. Fluent U has this great feature where you can look up a word like C and flip through a video dictionary of TV shows, movie scenes, music videos, and more to understand the word completely. Go to the next level by watching the full video with interactive subtitles. For a free trial of Fluent U, make sure to click on the link in the description below. Now, we all know the classic French, oh la la, which is like their OMG. But did you know that hola means something completely different? Try to guess from context. Hola. Hola comes across as more of a hold on or a whoa. You use it when you maybe want to stop something or slow something down. Hola, doucement les petits. For instance, you might say hola when you've got a mess on your hands. And the way to say a mess or trouble in French is une galère. You can have une galère. Entre. T'as l'argent. En fait, euh, j'ai une galère. Or you can be en galère. Ah ouais, il est un peu en galère. Hein, il a... Either way, it is no good. Now, in a traditional French class, you might learn that a job is un travail. But in more colloquial French, you'll hear the word taf used very often. Je m'éclate dans mon taf. Euh... Taf is slang for a job or a task and should be used in more informal contexts. Now, if you want to study these phrases later, we've prepared a free PDF for you. Click on the link in the description below. Now, the last thing that you want to find at your taf is n'importe quoi. <laughs> n'importe quoi. N'importe quoi means nonsense, and it often comes with a bit of a negative connotation. <laughs> C'est n'importe quoi. A word-for-word -word translation would be no matter what, but in practice, it comes across more as a nonsense or rubbish. If you meet somebody who's saying a lot of n'importe quoi, you might have the urge to call them an idiot or un con. T'es complètement con, quoi. Notice that in this situation, Lupin does not say tu es con, but rather t'es con. And this is a very common abbreviation that you'll find in colloquial French. Il pense que je suis un Français, mais con. Con is slang and even a little vulgar, so I make sure to only use it in informal contexts. Now let's talk reactions. If you feel kind of neutral on something or even a little negative, 
you might respond with bof. It's essentially the French meh. What's the opposite of bof? There are actually over 13 ways of saying awesome in French, and you can learn all about them using the video you can find on this screen. So click on the link here, and I will see you over there.